Hi there everyone, Mike over here, Bobcat Technical Support. Um, just wanted to go through one quick thing that we get a lot of questions on um, that, uh, you know, it just seems to confuse a few people and uh, if it's one of you guys then uh, this video should help you out. I want to show you how to translate a part that is uh, brought in, you know, for your CAD, uh, either from AutoCAD or really anywhere. Um, where it doesn't show up on the XYZ zero coordinate system like this little part we have here. Um, very simple to do, um, but uh, when not sure how to do it, it becomes a lot harder than it, uh, than it should be. So let's go to utilities. Let's start off with uh, utilities. And we just want to go down to translate. Okay, now you'll see what I did to this part before I did anything was I have my, it's just a simple square uh, with one point in the upper right hand corner and why I put that point is there why I put that point there is because that's where I want that's the point that I want to sit on XYZ zero so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to translate you know utilities translate open up you get three choices up at the top Delta which is going to move it you know if you want to move five on the X five on the Y that's what it's going to do sketch enter which is going to let you pick either a point to move to or or you can actually put in a coordinate system to move to and then drag is just going to let you select it hit OK and drag it all around the screen um, you can get as close as you possibly can try to get with uh, with using drag but it's not very accurate so I like to use the one that says sketch enter and what it'll let you do you can make you can scale it up while you do this you can go you know if you want to make your part bigger or smaller you can make copies while you do this um, you know either one you can do start point so really this is always going to be set on pick you don't really want to enter your start point on this one that's kind of the big perk to this that's why this point is here that's going to be our start point on the end you have two options pick which means you can pick where you want it to end or enter I'm going to use the enter function for right now and I'll go into pick in a second um, but I'm going to just bring this part to XYZ zero as you can see XYZ zero so the first thing you do is you just select and then you hit OK one time and then if you read at the bottom of the screen, you know, down here and follow along with these steps, it'll walk you through everything. Right now it says left click the point to move from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to left click on this point right here and hit OK. And you'll just see it disappear. What you can do is go to fit all right here and hit it. And we can zoom out a little bit and you'll see that, that square that we just moved is now sitting with the point that we selected right on XYZ zero. Now let me go to this one, same kind of deal, move the point around a little bit, um, but with this one, I want to just come into points, hit sketch, and I'm just going to sketch a point over here. So the reason for that is when I go to translate now, I can go down to sketch enter, and then right now we can even make a copy. So we have two squares, and we'll just make one copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole thing. We can go ahead and hit OK one time. The first selection is to say, this is what I want to move. Okay, the second one, you could come in and change any of these values. Like I just picked pick this time, not enter, or this point when I pick it is going to go straight to XYZ zero. If I put it on pick, it you see down at the bottom, we see left click to move from. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the point to move from. And now it says, and pick the point to move to. So we could go in, and you see I clicked over there. We don't really want it there, so let's go reselect. And we're just going to pick this guy again hit OK, pick the point, and then we're going to go pick this point right here. Now that's good for if you just know you need to move something in a certain place, or uh, if you're trying to manually nest something, you can lay, the, lay out points and then make copies all along those points. You know, that's also what Translate can be used for. Um, but really, that's the big feature. I mean, Translate can do so many more things than this, but as far as moving your point to XYZ0, you know, it doesn't get much easier than that. Um, it even works for 3D parts. You just have to place a point somewhere or just know where you have to click on that drawing, you know, and, you know, pick either whether you want to enter and go to X, Y, Z, zero, or we can put it at, you know, X, 10, Y, 10, Z, 10, and have it sit over here, you know, out here floating up in space. If you, you know, it all depends on where you want to put the part. So uh, I hope this helped, and, uh, yeah, this is the end of the video.